We're gonna work on a quick salad now, guys, which uh, surprisingly enough starts with more garlic and more shallots. Weird, right? Actually, I could probably use these and then just cut more later. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll cut more later. We're gonna make a caprese salad, guys, with some buffalo mozzarella. Check out these tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. So these are zebra heirloom tomatoes. Um, beautiful, like really deep kind of ruby red color into this really nice emerald green. Like these are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Okay. Um, again, from a local farm, they look like walnuts on steroids. There you go. Uh, then on top of that, I got a vine of yellow heirloom tomatoes. Oh, come back here, my friend. And a vine of some red heirloom tomatoes. This is what we're going to use to make our... They look brown and green. They are slightly brown. Like they, If you look at the very tops here, they do come up to this really nice, deep, deep red color. Yeah, heirlooms are beautiful, Zell. <laughs> Again, another little trick for you guys. Here, this, this guy's called a tomato shark. You can probably find one on Amazon. Okay, not that I, not that I really like to support our, our uh, stream overlords here, but this is a tomato shark. They're probably a couple bucks, and what they're used for is just getting the the tips out, like the cores out of the tomatoes, without taking a ton of extra stuff out of it. Right. The other way is you cut the top off the tomato and lose a bunch of tomato. The other other way is um, <laughs> the eye scooper. Oh my God, Matt Hollow. Remind me never come to your house or at least not go to your basement. I feel like I'll never I'll never come back out. Um, so yeah, so you can just like you just take like the little tips out of them, saves a ton of your tomato. Um, you pay for you pay for all this produce. You might as well keep it. Look at this fucking tomato, guys. These are gorgeous. Beautiful Alberta produce, guys. Beautiful Alberta produce. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, it's, it's the same thing as the knife, right? Like, you pay for all the produce. Why don't you just want to use the produce? Turn that down. Okay. Hey. Fucking behave. All right. Hey. I hear that. All right. You're going to Wins for dinner? Ashley, come on over. I'd, I'd have you guys over in a heartbeat. Have you guys over in a heartbeat? I want a house with a basement because I'm terrified of tornadoes. Zell, if you don't mind my asking, I know you live out on the East Coast, like somewhere near the Carolinas. <laughs> but like, whereabouts do you live? When uh, checking to his pod, it's like me talking to my cat. Yeah. Do you tell your cat to fucking behave? The winter circle's coming over? Come on over, guys. You never... Oh, oh Zell. I'm sorry to hear that. Again, I'm not going to get too much into into what's going on uh, in Atlanta just for reasons. But again, this is what the inside of that bad boy looks like. Look at that color. That is fucking beautiful, guys. I'm just going to cut them into fours. Um, the reason why I'm cutting them into fours, I was hoping to get bigger tomatoes. Uh, just we're... We're... It just, we're just a little too early in the season. We had a pretty, of a, a pretty rough winter. Again, look at these guys. We had a really rough winter, so I couldn't get like full-size heirloom tomatoes. I had to get these little baby boys, and that's fine. The giant sea between us? Now nah, you're good. Just, just fly over. I know that, again, because of COVID, we're a little bit... Uh, we're a little bit locked down right now, but that's okay. You can lock down with us. We'll we'll eat like kings. Again, we're gonna we're gonna take some more tomatoes off. We're making a big salad, guys, because I I actually happen to really love this salad. It's a it's another one that's um, a big Mrs. Wynn is a big fan of it as well. Just gonna chuck all my crap in the sink for now. Easier to clean up. I love that you have that you have giving her a diamond. Yes, Zell. 
Well, she's a queen, Zell. She is the queen. The stream queen. Uh, when is a leaf eater? Oh, no, K-Theory. What am I making? So everything I'm making today, Jade, is comes... Well, not everything. About 95% of what I'm making or, or the stuff that I'm using today, it all comes within about 100 kilometers of of where I live. So of Calgary. So I, we, we took a lot of stuff from various farms and that sort of stuff. I tried to get some video of us going out to get it. The problem is... We had the problem we ran into is because we kind of dealt a lot with the Mennonite and Hutterite community. These guys absolutely, for religious reasons, refused to be have their picture taken or something like that. So doing any sort of videos, doing any sort of interviews with them or something was just out of the question. Trying to keep them about the same size, right? A little bit bigger. Yes, yeah, chef. Okay. So yeah, every, everything everything we're doing here for the most part is comes from near from comes from like near Calgary, which is great. Do you enjoy cooking? You're terrible at it. So I used to work as a chef, Jade, back in my earlier years. I actually got my certification as a professional chef. The problem with working as a professional chef is that when you're doing it as a job, you learn to, well, you don't learn. You just kind of end up becoming bitter with it a lot of the times just because it's kind of your, you're forced to do it. Hey, cooperate. Hey, there you go. Um, because like you're, you're doing it as a, as a job, like it just, you end up becoming like disenchanted with it. I don't even know why I bothered to put these in a bowl. I don't need to put these in a bowl at all, but you know what? We'll work with it. Um, it's fine. I've never seen so many tomatoes for a salad. Well, this is a tomato-based salad, K-Theory, and don't worry. We're about to add... We're about to take all of the nutritional value out of it by adding a whole shitload of cheese. It's going to be it's going to be a big salad but Man, that steak's going to be done here soon. Okay, here we go. There's a whole bowl of tomatoes, right, my friends? Big big bowl of tomatoes. So, we're going to quickly toss these through just some tomatoes. We're just going to go um Raw onion, raw shallot, it's totally fine in this. We're just going to dump that in. We're going to need more of that later, but we'll come to that in a minute. This bad boy. So here comes... Hey, hey, hey. Also, guys, if you ever meet MXJ, if you ever see MXJ in the chat, this, um, this cheese actually comes from within like... Probably within 15, 20, 15 minutes of where she is. Look at this bad boy. So these are mozzarella balls. Okay. These are mozzarella balls, but these aren't any mozzarella balls. Um, these mozzarella balls have been made with uh, buffalo milk or bison milk. Okay. So these aren't, this isn't cow mozzarella. This is buffalo mozzarella. The difference is it is such a such a different flavor it's i find it's more robust it's creamier it's um it's richer for sure zell for sure for sure and like look at this stuff oh my god look at this so again all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it cut it into some rather rather hefty chunks because i like a good piece of cheese add that in did you make them yourself? Or did you buy them? Uh, I bought them. I, I bought them. Man, if I had... Bu First of all, if I had buffalo milk, that would be dope as shit. Secondly, if I knew how to make cheese appropriately, that would also be dope as shit. Long story short, I don't have either of those uh, capabilities at the moment. So, we're going to chuck these guys in here like this. Work them through. Wipe down the cutting board again. Uh, 
I saw a YouTube video from scratch. Oh, it's definitely possible. For sure it is, Zell. I just don't have the patience for it because I just want to not wait long enough. Can we just buy an island and all of us make our own mansion and farm and shops there? That'd be wicked. I'll, I'll cook, Ashley. I'll cook. Clean up the knife. Okay. The Winter's Island. Yeah, Winter's Circle Island. It's more than just a spot you can visit in uh, Animal Crossing. It'd be our own very, very own Animal Crossing, exactly. I could drink so many of those guys. <clears throat> so they make their own vodka, first off. Like So Eau Claire Distillery, they make their own vodka for these. And then they use a locally sourced, um, they use like Alberta grown ginger to make ginger beer and then turn it into, um, turn it into, yeah, to make their own ginger beer and then turn it into this Moscow mule. A little bit of honey. Oh, get at me. When's Tom look? This is basil, Jade. So normally, I, normally like Mrs. Wynn and I grow our own basil all summer. The problem with basil is that it hates everything and everybody. Um, like it absolutely just hates, like it's, it's the most picky, hard to grow, doesn't fucking like anything, goddamn herb, but it tastes so good. So, um, so like we have a bunch growing right now. Oh, I love basil, Jade. Love it. Ba oh, sorry. Basil. It's so temperamental. Uh, so yeah, Mrs. Wynn and I have some basil growing. Um, but I didn't, there, there wasn't enough that was ready. Like it's still growing right now. There was not enough for us to make this salad. So again, I just bought some from a farm uh, just outside of Calgary. Excuse you. Goddamn pot. Pay attention. Smarten up. Okay. Again, there's there's a lot of different ways that you can work with basil. Basil. Um, honestly, myself, I just try to like group it up as much as I can. And then just start, then just run, again, just run a knife through it. I like all my basil in, in strips. I actually don't even mind basil in full leaves, but in this particular situation, this salad, it's not going to work in a full leaf. We did nearly buy a whole hydro system just to grow basil uh, and pot, but that's beside the point. What? No, no, no. It's legal in Canada. It's okay. We can do it. Yeah, completely legal. You can grow, like, what, four plants a person, I think? Um, so back to the, your knife technique should have told me you had chef, you have chef experience. Thank you. Uh, you could have built a hydro system for that. Darren, come on up. We'll, uh, we'll split, we'll split some profit with you. Yeah, Jade, I, I worked as a chef for a few years. Let me just quickly check in on these potatoes, see what they're. See what they're saying. This is one of the things you build? Hell yeah. Darren, I'm in. Okay, those are not quite ready yet. Those are not ready at all. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I have a, I have a dish for it right now. I'm just going to quickly grab a, a spatula or you can use a wooden spoon. You can use basically anything you want. I just want to mix this through. The, the fact that we're using buffalo mozzarella makes it quite... It's quite fragile, so you want to be very careful. Um, another thing to do when you're doing something like this is just turn the bowl. Every time you go to stir, give the bowl just a little turn, like a little eighth, eighth, uh, eighth of a rotation turn. Helps you get all the way through there. Make sure you dig all the way down to the bottom. Get all that good stuff down to the bottom. There it is, right? Ta-da! Let me try and get this. Whoop, whoop. Cooperate. There we go. Ta -da. Okay. <clears throat> Again, just because, like, in my opinion, there's no such thing as too much garlic. A little bit of powdered garlic in there. Salt. Okay. 
Okay. Again, you can use a healthy amount of salt because we are, we do have a very large, um, a very large salad going on here. One thing that people seem to miss a lot of times is whenever you're making a tomato salad or a salad that has a ton of a ton of acid to it, like citrus or or tomatoes or anything like that, just throw a little pinch of, of sugar on top of it. The sugar, what the sugar does here, guys, is it actually brings the sweetness out of the tomatoes. Like it, it helps just kind of knock down that acid a little bit that comes out of your tomatoes and actually brings up the sweetness and the and the tomato flavor. Okay. And the sugar in the balsamic, yes. So what I'm going to do here, guys, for the way I do it, pile it up in your serving dish. I like to have, serve it in a nice big bowl like this. Bigger the bowl, the better. Cooperate. Sorry, give me one sec. Put that out of the way. Then... This stuff right here, let me make sure it's open before I get too excited. It's not. This is in this is from British Columbia, which is the which is actually just over from us. It's about an hour away. Comes from the province of British Columbia, not really Alberta, but you know what? What can I do? They have the growing climate to grow. Uh, every everything that I'm using here today, guys, is um, local within within like. I don't know, 75 miles, I guess. I'm trying to convert it to freedom units. It really, it's like 60 miles, but basically every, everything that I'm using today is um, within 75 miles of where I live. So um, like there's there's a couple, except the maple syrup, except the maple syrup, and I am using um, estate grown truffles. So the truffles have to come from France. But uh, yeah, John. Yeah, you did destroy that milestone. Raiders get to see. Oh, and a frilly apron. Yes, yeah, sorry. If you look up to this camera right up there, guys, you get to see. You know, always make sure you wear your finest apron. Okay. But yeah, basically the the menu, guys, is um, the menu is. A caprese salad. So this is heirloom tomatoes. <laughs> exactly. Made win. Uh, Nerd stuff. I feel like that's a fanfic just waiting to happen. That's terrifying. Uh, so yes, again, heirloom tomatoes, um, locally grown basil, locally grown garlic and shallots, um, buffalo mozzarella from about 25 minutes, half an hour away from where I live. Uh, it's a, yeah, it is a KitchenAid. Yeah, it's a KitchenAid. It's a kitchen kitchen aid professional five quart mixer. Okay, um, we're we're throwing on this is a, again this isn't necessarily from Alberta this is from just beside us it comes from British Columbia, but all we're gonna do is just for decoration we're gonna throw a good healthy dose of balsamic this is balsamic glaze so all this is is balsamic vinegar that has been cooked down into a syrup. There it is. But a boom. This is effectively done. When you serve this, just mix uh, mix the balsamic vinegar in and serve. You're done. Ta-da. This is basically it. This is this is your salad. This is I don't I'm not a huge vegetable fan, but this um, this salad just makes it the fucking bomb. Again, heirloom tomatoes. Um, heirloom tomatoes. Buffalo mozzarella, shallots, garlic, salt, pepper, balsamic glaze, little bit of a uh, little bit of olive oil. We'll actually go just a little bit more olive oil on top. There it is. Extra virgin, please, always. Yeah, for, first cold press, extra virgin olive oil. Boom, there it is. I'm gonna go chuck this bad boy in the fridge. I'll be right back with you. <laughs> 